Hi guys, welcome back sa YouTube channel ko. So for today, meron tayong math problem coming from the engineering, mathematics, basic sciences eh, na galing sa Math Mechanical Engineering Boards 2017. Pero before that mga Lodi Cakes, shoutout muna kay Ma'am Carmela Penuliar, kay John Carlo Mendoza, at saka kay uh, Paul Angelo Dalisay. And maraming maraming salamat sa mga Lodi Cakes na patuloy na sumusupport sa channel natin. Hopefully, we'll reach 100,000 subscribers before the end of the year. So ito yung problem natin. Terence's office is 12 km from his house. If one day he drove his car to his office at a constant speed of 30 km per hour and came back home driving at 20 km per hour, what is the average speed for the entire trip? The misconception in this problem is that ang ginagawa kasi ng mga ibang nagsasolve is since they are dealing or the problem is asking for the average speed, they will just get the average of the speeds mentioned. So for uh, papunta 30 kph, pabalik 20 kph. So 30 plus 20 divided by 2, that is 25 kph, which is mali po. Bakit mali ang 25 kph or IG? So mali yan guys ha. Because the concept in this type of problem is that the average speed guys, the average speed, take note of this one, The average speed is equal to the total distance traveled. So, total distance over the total time spent. So, total distance over the total time. Okay? So, kunyari, hindi nyo alam yung shortcut dito na geometric min lang siya. It's okay for as long na alam nyo yung concept na ito. So, ano ba yung total distance traveled niyan, Sir IJ? So, syempre, papunta... Uh, 12 kilometers, pabalik, another 12 kilometers, so that is a 24 kilometer. So, yung total distance natin, so the total distance, so the total distance is just 12 plus 12, so that is 24 kilometers. However, for the total time, we have to consider two different speeds because yung speed niya, um, papunta sa office is mas marilis kumpara dun sa pag pauwi na siya. So, how do we compute for the time spent? Papunta sa office. So, time, let's say T1 na lang yung papunta sa office. That is, T1 is equal to distance traveled, that is 12 kilometers, all over the 30 kilometers per hour. So, kapag kinumpute natin to in terms of hour, so that is equivalent to 0.4 hours, or that is around 24 minutes, kapag kinimes na rin sa 60. So, for the second time, guys, so we have 12 kilometers, pero pa-uwi na to. So, mas matagal yung oras niya dito kasi mas mabagal yung speed niya. So, that is equivalent to 20 kph. Kapag dinivide natin to, that is equivalent to 0.6 hour or that's 36 minutes. So, the total time, that is equivalent to T1 plus T2. Time pa punta plus time pa uwi. So we have 0.4 hour plus 0.6 hour that is equivalent to 1 hour. So applying the formula or the concept na inintroduce natin at the start of our video, so the average speed will just be equal to the total time 24 kilometers over the total time, uh, the total distance I mean, the total distance traveled all over the total time spent. So therefore, The correct answer is 24 kilometers per hour. So, ang tamang sagot sa board problem na to is letter A. If alam nyo rin naman yung concept ng geometric mean, so the geometric mean of the given average, you name, I mean given speed will be the average. So, that is just 2xy all over x plus y. So, kung ayaw nyo nang pumunta dito pero alam nyo, uy, speed yung binigay, dalawa, average speed. So, you can just use the geometric mean formula. A geometric mean tuloy, sorry, is this geometric mean? Um, harmonic mean pala, sorry. My fault, guys. It must be the harmonic mean. So, that is just 2 multiplied by the 30 multiplied by 20 all over the sum of the speeds. Kasi yung geometric mean is the square root of x, y. I'm sorry, guys. So, that's 24 kph. Still the same data. So guys, ganun lang po siya kasimple and maraming maraming salamat sa mga patuloy na sumusuporta sa channel natin. I hope you all the best mga Lodi Cakes. Keep safe and kita-kit sa mga next engineering and mga tutorial videos si Sir IJ. Bye-bye and God bless!